Live look at the White House tonight where President Biden has announced new sanctions against Russia. KPX 5 Sarah Donchi has the details on the sanctions and what might happen next. Things really escalated today, not just in actions that Russia took, but how the U.S. and its allies are responding to the crisis. President Biden didn't mince words, saying this was the start of a Russian invasion into Ukraine as he announced the first round of sanctions after Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops into two separatist regions in eastern Ukraine, and more U.S. sanctions could be coming. Who in the Lord's name does Putin think gives him the right to declare new so-called countries on territory that belong to his neighbors? The sanctions are against two Russian financial firms in the country's sovereign debt, cutting it off from Western financing, plus sanctions on top Putin cronies and their families. The Kremlin can no longer raise money uh, from the U.S. or Europe, and its new debt can no longer trade on U.S. or European financial markets. And it's not just the U.S. taking action. Germany has frozen a major gas pipeline project that was planned to run from Russia to Germany. Local Congressman John Garamendi, who sits on the Armed Services Committee, assured the U.S. won't be getting into another war. Not going to happen. Congress will not do that. The president isn't going to ask for it and has very clearly said, he will not do that. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said he is canceling his planned meeting with his Russian counterpart in Geneva. This is the greatest threat to security in Europe since World War II. The Department of Defense also announced U.S. forces and equipment based in Europe will move to bolster NATO's eastern flank. No, no. A CBS News crew witnessed Russian-backed separatists firing on Ukrainian troops. Students in one eastern Ukrainian city are spending time away from studies to learn about bulletproof vests. All eyes now are on Russia and the 150,000 troops it has positioned on three different sides of Ukraine. Back to you.